بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته كلن توا عنا ونكسن داود يا الإذن كيم بقاب كستو يميل كستو كسوغن تهين كسو دواذا مرتدا يومان تا أنا قو سجاء الأحمد يا الإذن لسو عسينا يا وحانا مرتدا يقوى زاك أو إساقوى لوير إسلام مركانا إيميكا أوتر تميا حاكم كمي ذا حاكم ذا مركاسي كهول غالي دونا محكم ذا كويا لا قبل كان أوها يقار أحان فراكلين كاونتي وحا فرحذي اه انان استوديا كسو دويو زاك زاك ويلكم تو شعية تي في Thank you for having me سوجا واكوما زاك Thank you, thank you for having me, السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام I'm an assistant city attorney with the Columbus City Attorney's Office Back in 2012 I started under city attorney Rick Pfeiffer In 2014 I joined the staff as a trial prosecutor trying cases in front of judges and juries here in Franklin County uh, after that, I went into private practice and I practiced criminal defense, representing individuals who couldn't afford an attorney, and also handling civil litigation, people who were maybe suing employers or different individuals. I then rejoined the city attorney's office as a community attorney. So in that role, I worked specifically in the environmental division, filing cases for injunctive relief. Those cases are against property owners, sometimes a drug house or a property that's gotten out of control, a landlord who's not taking care of a property, or other ways that we need to improve health and safety using the environmental division. Those are the roles that I have. Wonderful. That is a very good answer. Uh, I'm running for Franklin County Common Pleas Court in the general division. These cases involve felonies that happened in Franklin County, cases for over $15,000, cases for injunctive relief, much like the ones I currently handle in the environmental division, and then in certain administrative appeals. So they're some of the most serious cases that we hear here in Franklin County. So what I really want to bring to the court is a community perspective. I, I describe my current job as that of a community attorney. So I work on the west side of the city, and that includes Franklinton, Hilltop, and some of our most marginalized communities. And I don't just work there, I also live in these communities. And so what I hope to bring is a perspective that's not currently represented on the bench of some of our under-resourced communities and some of the needs, concerns, and issues that might not currently be represented. My hope is that folks want to see a balanced perspective on the bench. Before I was an attorney, I was actually a victim witness advocate. And in that role, we help folks navigate the justice system who have been the victims of crime, families of victims of crime, things like that. So I've been a victim witness advocate. I've been a prosecutor. I've been a defense attorney. I've done civil litigation in the private sector and for the government. And so my hope is that folks see I have a balanced perspective, but then also going back to the idea that someone who has an understanding of the communities and the needs of the folks that are in our communities. Wonderful. انتاد کجیرتی عرمها لایر که اما محکوم را ده حرف داده شقاق وحیابها لطیمامی کرا آزاد حق مستقبل کیسی گله و کجای محکم ده. So there are three things that I've accomplished while I've been with the city attorney's office that I'm particularly proud of. While I've been in this role, I've closed down over 50 drug houses throughout the city. Two of those on my own street. I've also started a specialty docket. So when we sue landlords, sometimes what happens is with code enforcement, folks who have damages to their house might not be able to afford to make those repairs. So we created a special court where we can help people find resources, either through Habitat for Humanity, the Legal Aid Society, social workers through Columbus Public Health. So the idea is to bring those resources together to try to help folks find ways to improve their properties, make sure they have the opportunity to keep on living in their home. And then finally, uh, I recently filed one of the largest lawsuits for public nuisance in the history of the city. And that was against South Park Apartments, large apartment complex. And the idea of these cases is that we want to make sure that people have the opportunity to live with dignity in their homes. The idea of living in clean, safe environments that are well taken care of. And I want to bring that to the court. حدیل لغو دارته عد اغلب ن عد که هش بلشده فرقلی کانتی کنول محی کردن کردن محکم دانی این این نگون کرده. My hope is to bring the community to the court as much as possible, whether it be through education of the youth or bringing different community leaders down to the court. I feel right now that I have the connections with the community that I can really bridge the gap, and that's something that I hope to do while I'm on the bench. Wonderful. دک بدنا مرکز عطر هدینایان و کوه موضوع بلشید کرده حجیره مرکزی 
مركز سنة عد رادية ربانا إن لدورتو لكن مركي عد كاسي هلان بلشدة كومسو لابتن لمان أركو آديوغو مكمد نقون دون تا داد كاسي so what, I, what I've been very fortunate with is in this role as a community attorney, I've had the opportunity to work with the Somali community extensively. First starting at River Point Apartments with some of the housing conditions that they were living in, then began, enga began engaging with Wedgwood Apartments and making sure that folks had safe and healthy environments to live in. And so I've continued to work with the youth at Wedgwood Village Apartments and most recently filing against South Park Apartments. So I've been working for and with the community for a long time, long before I ever decided to run for office, and that's something I promise to continue to do when I'm on the bench. Wonderful. Lastly, my message to the voters is that they need to get out and vote. It's so important that they exercise their right. There is still time to vote this year. Tomorrow, Sunday, from 1 to 5 at 1700 Morse Road, the Franklin County Board of Elections Early Vote Center is open. Tomorrow, or on Monday, from 8 to 2, they can vote there. And then on Election Day, they need to figure out their polling location, check with the Secretary of State, or have a friend help them make sure that they know where to vote and when to vote. And I ask you to remember in November to win with Gwyn. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wish you the best. Thank you.